Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we'll be seeing another coding interpretations related to the function current. So if you don't know about the what is the function current, so please read the article related to the current, what exactly the function current does in the JavaScript and how we have to implement it. So basically I will tell you a few things over here. So uh, we have taken two examples over here. So for the one is addition, another is for multiplication. So we have two ways to do this with a normal function and, and Another will be the arrow function. So we'll be seeing this with the addition with the normal function and multiplication with the arrow function. So we'll be having two approach to do the same application, same example with it multiple. So okay. So basically, uh, most of time we pass like this. So uh, let me write. That. So we pass argument like this. Add one both something kind of. This. So this is kind of the argument we usually pass to our function basically. But in this case, what happens? So we have a current basically it has a inner function having the references of the to the outer function. So in that case, what happens? So as soon as you pass this first parameter, it goes to the first argument of this first element. And as soon as you pass the second one, so it goes to the another one. So let me write the syntax for the first of public blocks. We'll create some function based like a and then open. So if we write a return, return on the function here, and like the B or something, it will argument by B here. Okay. So, or well, that is what it Okay. So now what happens? So as soon as you pass two here in this one, so it will be the first argument and the second argument will be three over here. But what happens? So if I write like this uh, return a plus b, so it will be hard coded right now. So what will happen in this case? So first one right now we have to do for the n number of the arguments. So we are not uh, we are not know how many argument we will be uh, asking in the interview. So that is why we have to create a dynamic current function over here to do this. Suppose I call this function like this now. One, two, this. Okay, so it is returning G to us. Now, suppose I want to pass another here, or I want to pass three now. So in this case, it will fail because we have Calling only two functions over here. Okay, so we are not taking considering three third over here. So we have to write that as well. If we are doing in that case, so this would be the hard coded for now for us. So sometimes you can do that if you have if you don't have time and something. So you can take that approach, but this is not recommended approach for us. So we'll see how to do this with the multiple arguments. So I can uh, I can uh, add the multiple argument over here and the multiplication will So we we'll do that. So let me rewrite this or let me write the new one. Let me create for addition function. And it will have in the first parameter the words. Then what we have to do? So A will be two will be coming here now. So we have to write a function over here which uh, the way we have written for the last one. So it will be return function, it for anonymous function. Okay. I mean it will be very that another argument to us. So now the okay. thing. So what will happen here now? If we are doing like this, so we have to do one check over here in between. Suppose the what will happen? So as soon as we call this one, so it will return to addition as a five. Now the A will be 5 and C, uh, your second other one will be 5. So in that case, let me show you how to do it. For return, we'll check that if the B is present or not there. If it is there, then we will add it. A must be, it's return B. Okay. This is how we do this. So basically in this case, what we are doing here, let me, let me do that. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so we are checking not yeah, what I can. So what we are doing here? So we are checking this B is present or not. If it is there, then return the addition of it. Else, okay. So B okay. We have to return A only. So what will happen here now? 
So as soon as we call the first, so two will be here, your three will be here. Okay. So now the first will be the, as soon as it called with the two and three. So the next time it will come for five. So first argument will be five because we have did already addition of it because B was present over there as a three. So we have already called it. So it will return five next time. Okay. And when you are calling with this five now, so five will be coming here as a five and this will be your first five and second five will be here. So this is how it get executed. So let me call this. Sorry. Lock. Let me lock this on me. So empty my text. Okay. So now as soon as we call it, the output 23 over here. So as soon as we are adding the multiple argument over here, it automatically taking it. So uh, two things over here we have to check. So first, the, whenever the first arguments return something, it will every time it will goes to here and the whatever the next parameter will be going here. So uh, in the right now, last case, we will check. So how when this get executed at the end. So in this case, if you see it is written 27, 23 in this one. So right now you don't have anything in here. So what we'll do here. So B will be your uh, at this time. We don't have anything here. So it is, will be undefined. Okay. So B, we are checking here. So B has something or not. If it is not, then return A. So A means what? A means addition of all these things. So this is how it is working over here. So this is the one approach to do with the normal function. And we can do with the same thing with the uh, arrow function. So let me show you how to do that as well. For multiplication, we'll do that. Okay. So what we can do with create one variable with the multiplication. Let me okay so now but the same way we do so a will be here first argument and we can pass as a b as a second argument okay and now only one one thing we have to do over here same thing we have to copy and put it over here only. okay so change only this by okay now uh, we'll call this the thing with the multiplication. To understand, let me remove these two things. Okay, so now you can see the output now. So, multiplication, or how it is going basically. So, same way we are doing, only the thing what happening, we are, we are just rewriting this return function and all these things from here. So, these are the two arguments, A and B, whatever we are passing at the above. And this, uh, this is the same code we have written here, basically. So we don't need to write the return statement and all for this. So this is how we do this, uh, the function curry. Yeah, so that's it for this video. So keep learning.